through my uh, third album here it takes about 45 minutes and this this nice little live thing is a challenge because it's like I'm gonna mess up and it's it's gonna be recorded so yeah I can save it for later look at it and chill and then the third album is the hardest it's it's definitely the hardest of all my albums so I'm just gonna prepare a little bit Let's see if we can get through the whole thing in one go I got three minutes left don't worry, I'll start on time. This is the mandolin. Starts with the mandolin. I don't know if you'll be able to hear me in this room either. This is my first time to do this in this room. And it's an angle because I got this music stand with this tablet and I got these speakers over here. I'm not an engineer. I don't know what I'm doing. Two minutes left. Don't worry. I'll start on time. I'll start on time. I'm not wearing my glasses too, so I'm trying to do this all from memory. I'm not gonna read my lyrics. Uh, yeah, let me read the comments. Nothing. Oh, notifying viewers that you're live. One minute. I'll start on time. Don't worry. Do 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 do. Yeah. So the third album. It's kind of my craziest album. <sighs> Makes me nervous. I'm nervous. It's kind of boring. It'll be boring. Don't watch. Too long. Don't read. TLDR. Or stay and be mesmerized and see what he's going to do next. It's nothing special. This is a mandolin. And there's a guitar. And at some point, I think I'll pull out a djembe. There it is. Um, I'll pull out a djembe. But it's all just brief moments. Ah, don't distract me. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Finish it. Okay. Do 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 Thank you. 
transition.
but life is not fair Sit and stare, utterly unaware I could dare kill you without care Hey, hey, bug, it's time to say your prayers It's time to say your prayers It's time to say your prayers Wow, we're already through three songs. Only seven more to go. Holy crap, our fingers hurt. All right. You just got to get through it, you know? You just got to keep going. For the most part, it's hard to finish what we start. We want it to be perfect and blow it off the chart. Snag a bump, a fork in the road, and right off the cart, your heart smarts with a fart. Cause writer's block is often like falling in a chasm. To master it in an accident, more like a muscle spasm. You seizure and twitch with the sensory overload, but the depths of the unknown are impossible to fathom. Denim down. job that's severely understaffed to call it a comedy only after people laugh i can't find quiet even in my own abode beating myself up looking for a lie for raft because it's learning how to swim or turning yourself out in the ocean like eczema destroys the skin despite the use of lotion it splits up and cracks where the water will corrode scratch till it bleeds but i'm distracted from any abstract emotion so what's all this commotion I have a notion about your devotion. Here, try a magic potion. It's clearing up your credits, keep your mood enthusiastic, and I'm looting your pets in the stench of burning plastic. You cut them, you gut them, you're ready to explode to pretend they're getting kicked in the teeth. Automatic and demented fanatics. Emphatic. Ooh. <laughs>
I've rewritten the song a couple times at the least. We didn't throw in the town, just beat it to the beast. Scratch that he wastes, it down the commode. Creativity from chaos to the frenzy for a feast. It's walking in the spray when it's straight to Hoxalooki. You're the ultimate combo. Was he any burning loogie? No, wait a second, Eureka, there's a code to the zone. Just swallow the low, go to the town and boogie. Got a boogie. And it shows. Got a boogie, got a boogie, got a boogie, and it grows. Got a boogie, 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 boogie. Coming out my nose. Oh, man, that shit hurts. All right. We're down to one person. The angles killing me there. All right. You know what this word is? I'm gonna have to take a monocular stuff wixes. That's Z Y X W V U T S R K B O N N L K J I H G F E D C B A. My thank you, officer. We'll be on my way. Here's a hunch to our conundrum. Half a hundred in a hum. Had some habits, happy accidents. Have added and be done. Word invert and slurp tongue ensures your incarceration. You know what this word is. I'm gonna have to check my knocker stuff wixes. M N L O K P J Q I R H S G T F F U E V. W-C-X-B-Y-A-Z I'm sorry officer, I'm kidding. It was just a drunk. I'm a joke. Okay. Thank you for staying here with this live. On that note, I'm going to open up this other beer. This is the hardest song. Oh man, here we go. Here we go. This story starts out sitting on my couch when my mom comes home. She says, why are the windows open? I say, the light of the smell. She says, what smell? I say, from the smoke. She says, what smoke? I say, from the fire. She says, oh my god, the fire. I say, from the VCR. She says, will you please just tell me what happened? So I say I was watching with a shower too when I lit a candle, set it on the VCR, got too hot, melted, caught common fire, I threw it outside with the hose on, I'd open up the windows and let out the smell. She said, Jesus, that's so difficult. She turns and she says, what happened to your room? And I say, I painted it. And she screams, ah, this is my house, watch out of my house, get out of my house. So I figure I should do what she says, and I put on the new shoes that she just got me, and I get out of the house. And I think, you know what, there's a donut shop down the street that I can go and spend some time at. Eat some donuts. So I'm walking down the feet of the freeway to, you know, it's the road to the donut shop. And I'm not trying not to get my new shoes all muddy, and I notice that the 
there's a huge patch of mud coming up and I don't want to get my new shoes all muddy so I try to measure my steps and only step on the green grasses, you know? So I take my first step and I sink all the way to my knee. It was a tall piece of grass. Throws me off balance and I try to use my other foot to pull my foot out, but it's so far down in there it's stuck. And all it does is actually put my second foot down in the mud. So now I'm knee deep in the mud on the side of the freeway. And by the time I get one of my feet out, I shake the mud off and I notice that my shoe is completely missing. So I stick my foot back in there to find it and it's not coming up. So I stick my hands down in there and I can't find my shoe, my shoe is gone. Now I think, you know, there's no point in just having one shoe, so I just go ahead and finish the rest of my way to the donut shop. Condensed version. I get to the donut shop. And I know exactly what I want. I want a half a dozen donut, a bag of donut holes, a, a newspaper, and a pen. And I turn around and there's one seat open. It's pretty busy in there. I figure the guy there won't mind if I sit down next to him. So I do, and I pull out my newspaper, which has the crossword puzzle in it. And out of the corner of my eyes, I see this man reach over, open up my bag of donut holes, and eat a donut. And I don't say anything. I look up, you know, but I don't mind my business. But he does it again. I hadn't said anything the first time, and I, I didn't say anything the second time, but I figure if I eat some donuts, he can see that they're mine. So I reach in, grab a donut, home. Obviously my donuts. But he reaches over and he takes another one. And I'm a little stressed out, because he didn't take my hint. But this time, I go and I grab two donut holes. And then he goes and he has one. And I take three donut holes. And then he reaches over, opens up the bag of donut holes, crumples it up, picks up his briefcase and leaves. Doesn't say a word. And I'm a little stressed out, because, you know, I've lost my shoes, I just came to get some donuts, nothing seems to be working out right now, and I stand up to leave, and there underneath my crossword puzzle was my unopened bag of donut holes, Eureka! So I run home, well, my mom's sitting on the couch, she says, oh my god, what happened to you? I remember what happened last time she asked me what happened, so I take a deep breath and I say, well, I was on my way to get donuts, where I was arrested for not having insurance, and then um, I had, when I got out of jail the next day, I had to get on a bus to go see Alice Cooper play Halloween concert at the Arizona State Fair, um, and then on the way back, I lost my ticket in San Antonio, and I ended up on an 18 wheeler that brought me back to this donut shop, and I got a free bag of donut holes. She said, Jesus, I'm glad you're okay. What about your shoes? I said, they were eaten. She said, what do you mean they were eaten? I said, in the mud. She said, what do you mean in the mud? I said, on the side of the freeway. She said, oh my God, my kids are just tell me what happened. And she storms off to her room. Oh wait, where am I putting this off? I'm using this. Giant functional bell buckle steering wheel
chat with uh, the audience so my fingers can re rebuild themselves rebuild themselves there are only one two three more songs left that's right I speed through them because I can't finish them these are too hard these songs are too hard to play I have to drink this so that I ignore the wrong notes because they're too hard to play I can't play them anymore I wish you could learn them so that you're you're Awesome guitar playing skills can pull them out and do what I can no longer do. But um, three more songs to go. Woo. She says I'm killing it. Well, she married me, so. <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you. Yes, <laughs> you're all gonna die. I shouldn't have said that. I'm gonna get kicked from live. Don't, nope, don't. I'm not gonna kick it from. I'm not gonna do that to people. There, no seriousness at all. The fingers. And I feel like I've only messed up a few of the words in a couple of the songs. All the songs. <laughs> All the songs! Stop feeling. <sighs> That is too neat, cause I have feet too. They'd like to meet you, they'd get to know ya. I'll try to show ya the only dangers that we're still strangers. This song's a cop out to asking you out, cause I'm a chicken. Who's panic stricken? Ha ha ha, that's an exaggeration. I'm a late bloomer, wanna be crooner. But my D algebra humor will debrawl ya sooner. But I really think you're a cute girl No? Well you must be a square because you got all the right angles Well I like circles too If I can be a tangent to your curves song is about me asking you out, cause you're the winner, I'm a corny joke spinner, we'll roll a pinner, and go to dinner, just put your shoes on, that odor be gone, we don't need a coupon, for double entendre, I mean to 
say is, if you're a hyperbola, the area underneath your curve should find my natural log. Do I need to spell it out for you? The integral of e to the x is the function of u to the n. Ladies love calculus. It's long, hard, and you can do it on the desk. There is no limit to what I'll come in to get your digits. And once I got them, will data plot them? Get to the bottom of our least common denominator. 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 See you later, alligator. The stiffness in the fingers hurts when I play this part of this song, all these staccato bouncing around, not quite a reggae jam, but it's silly and short. Do oh, back to the mandolin. frightens me with its mania of flowers and expectations but it also might be enlightening a few more phone calls visitations before my views accused of treason there are some women in each generation who for some or other whatever reason definitely do not deserve celebration But my mother, I love her Mom, thanks for being strong And taking care of us for so long And forgiving us when we were wrong It's to you I dedicate this song I know it's not a good excuse To blame life's duties and obligations How I can be so easily confused By schedules and the effects of inflation Though all she's suffered's made her tougher Especially our insubordination to raise this kid, the phrase I love her definitely deserves reiteration. My mother, I love her. Mom, it's been so long since we've spoken, but absence makes the heart feel broken. Think of this, my throat keeps choking. Hoping your door's still open.
shagalaka last song! Oh. <laughs> I just broke my mandolin. <laughs> Those things. Silly instruments. Alright, last song. I'll never make it. I'm already done. On a boat in the sky, we're floating on steam. The sun and the moon, the stars in between. Gliding along, the stream unseen. Wind and misty water team. The gleam in her eye begins to dream. Electric language longs for meaning. the show for a uh, unique one-of-a-kind t-shirt signing. Let's bring me a t-shirt. I'll, I'll sign it. Signing t-shirts right now. Just all night. Just gonna go all night signing t-shirts right here. Right here. No, that's not gonna happen. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna blank, blank it off. Eight more weeks and then I'll play the fourth album. I'm not going to play this one again for another year. <laughs> You're not going to hear any of these songs for a year. Eight more weeks. Eight more songs. And then, and then after that, there's going to be six weeks. And then I'm going to play the, the fifth album in its entirety, right? And then, and then after seven weeks, I'm going to play the sixth album in its entirety. Do you see what I'm doing here? Right. So we're going to get through all of my songs. It'll take over two years to go through all these songs. Y'all are just... Just, just, just follow my life. Just follow me. Just follow me, and then you can, you can keep up with all of me. Cause I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing the, the TikToks of each of my songs, and then I'm doing the lives of the albums, and then I'm also doing the other 
songs with the things. Yeah, you get it. You get it. You're all cool. Thank you. I'll see you later. Logging off of this live.